This is a review for Soundtrack for Revolution. Um, the main points of this film slash documentary are the battle against segregation and racism and bigotry and for equal rights among blacks and whites so that they can be able to vote, be able to be free because basically what it means is that because of segregation the people felt blacks felt no better than prisoners within their lives they just want equal rights and be treated as human beings is basically what the summary of the main points are because they're trying to get segregation removed and have equal rights and get rid of racism and bigotry and be seen as human beings like everyone else is like why should only white people be seen as human beings and not black people as well you know okay and the parts of the film that struck me are when Dr. King when Dr. King said ain't nobody gonna let us ain't nobody gonna turn us around he basically means no one's gonna make them go home or anything they're gonna take the peaceful route to get equal rights among people you know and um... another part that struck me is about this woman talking about when she was fourteen and she was marching with all the blacks that she had to get stitches over her eye because the police beat her because it was a very sad story and it's heartbreaking to see people treated like animals and being beaten with tire irons, rubber hoses, being bombed, being shot, being burned, being shanked, being beaten with rubber hoses, tire irons, nightsticks. And the white people who are helping everyone out were being treated just as badly. I mean, people were being cut into pieces, they were being burned alive. They were being drowned because it's all heartbreaking, you know? The whole story is just heart wrenching and makes you disgusted at the people who would do this to such innocent people who didn't do nothing to them. My favorite part of this documentary is when they start the march to the mayor's house, the mayor's place or whatever, and that he wouldn't come out and see what he had done to them because of segregation. He was, it's because, I like that, I think it's my favorite part because he probably feels guilty now that they're all on his front doorstep and show and saying like look what you did to us look what stupid segregation has done to innocent people both white and black and it was laughable because he didn't want to see what he had done to them and he's a coward about it cowards say talk big and say stuff and feel like they mean every word of it, but when there's thousands of upset black people on your front lawn and white people, you're too scared to come out because they think you think they'll hurt you. 
which they wouldn't because they're doing a peaceful march because they are good-hearted people who are trying to do what's right and not what's legal in their term of speaking my least favorite part it of the documentary was seeing all those who had died just for standing up in what they believe in and what was right it's heartbreaking and the four girls in the last part of showing who had died were bombed in a church they were four innocent children bombed in a church with women and other children elderly people they were innocent they didn't do anything to hurt them why would they bomb them just to prove a point what point is there to be made if you're just bombing innocent people who are trying to stand up for what's right. And the reason I didn't like it be was because it made me angry towards the people who would hurt such innocent people. I don't see white or black, I see human beings treated like wild animals that need to be put down. It's sad. What I learned from this film was that you shouldn't judge people by the color of their skin because you don't know who they are on the inside and what kind of person they are. The second thing I learned from this movie is that Um, the second thing I learned from this movie is that show kindness to others and they shall show kindness unto you and treat everyone with equal respect and as a human being. The third thing I learned from this documentary is that being racist is just wrong and you should just accept people if they're colored or not just accept them because they're human beings too they bleed the same color blood they're not aliens from another planet they breathe just like we do they have organs they have feelings they have hearts they have souls they have brains they have eyes they have ears they have noses just like us so don't judge people because you don't know sh anything about them you don't know anything this has covered my opinions on Soundtrack for a Revolution. Signing off. This is my review for Born to be Wild, the golden age of American rock. The main points of this documentary are... <coughs> that the musicians themselves were also trying to inspire change in the world to end segregation and all those wrong doings and inspire peace and harmony <clears throat> within everyone and stop supporting sending people to Vietnam so they could get slaughtered. The part of this film that struck me was when <clears throat> they basically said Rock was starting to die when they sent Elvis and all of them to war and then they came back to life with other artists like the Beatles and the Doors and Jimi Hendrix and the Rolling Stones and all of them and they were bringing it back and they were bringing it back hard because 
it struck me because such they aspire such powerful ideals through music and just being who they are that it inspires me my favorite part of this documentary is when just simple music inspires people to move forward and to revolt against all the wrongdoings that the world is committing because it's my favorite because um I have a very patriotic side to me and I'm all against people doing the wrong thing. I stand up for what I believe in and I stand up for what is right like everyone in this documentary. They're standing up for what they believe in and I can stand up for what I believe in just as equally. My least favorite part is the drug use because I don't really condone drug use. I dislike the drug use and I dislike the violence. And I dislike uh, John F. Kennedy and his brother being shot because. 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 Because it is wrong shoot innocent people who just want peace and I do not like the terms of drug use people getting high to feel happy you know or to feel like light without the weight of the world on them shoulders and um I don't like innocent people getting hurt for the st- actions of the higher ups that are stupid and doing stupid actions. What I learned from this film was that A, no one should use drugs to get inspired or be happy or inspire or do any of to get inspired to do violence or anything. And, um, the second thing is, the second thing I learned is that violence doesn't kill people, people kill people. And the third thing I learned is... Just accept other people, even if their ideas are nuts and crazy, and inspire people through your own means of expression. It could be through music, art, anything really, even if it's a speech. Because your word, through any medium of art or any medium if you show enough passion through it is inspiring to others stand up for what you believe in and stand up for what is right that is all then